All right, welcome everyone. I'd say a short overview of submarines and submariners, uh, an introduction. Uh, the, uh, I am the instructor, uh, Captain Retired Todd Masita. I have uh, a little bit about myself before I tell you about the course. Uh, I've served on uh, for as a 30 year uh, Navy retiree, uh, served on seven different submarines over the, uh, the course of my career, including command of the uh, USS Alabama. Uh, the uh, I have a course here is uh, designed uh, as an unclassified course. Uh, each of the slides that uh, I have uh, set up in this course have the uh, links and material uh, in the notes pages to, to give you not only where you can go for some additional information, but also uh, where you can find the, uh, the material link for uh, as approved Navy released material. Uh, this course is designed to give you an overview of submarines and those that drive them, uh, designed for those in uh, primarily engineering backgrounds, but if you need to work with, uh, uh, understand, or look at, or just understand derived basic knowledge uh, for how submarines and those that drive them operate. Uh, one of the other keys is also for you to understand some of the language that submariners speak and, uh, and where to go to find more information. Uh, and those, those links are then critical for, for, you to be able to, uh, for you to be able to do that. Uh, you can see here on the first uh, slide, uh, the uh, agenda for a two-day uh, online course. Uh, for the first day, we're gonna, we're gonna go through the, uh, some of the things about the current submarine classes we have out there. And I'm gonna thumb through the, uh, a little bit here, a uh, uh, couple of the shows, so, so uh, there we go. Uh, and uh, you can sort of see I've got a slide or two in each section. So on the parts here, uh, you can kind of see we'll go through all the details of these various classes. Uh, we will start to drill down things from the Navy fact file on each class. In this case, uh, one of the one of the uh, older classes of submarine, uh, and we'll go into a lot of detail uh, as much as I can in an unclassified course. Uh, on the enterprise and the people that drive the uh, submarines, uh, we, we talk a lot about the, uh, the surrounding folks that support the submarines as, they are, uh, as they go and do their missions. So we will talk about that. We'll talk about where they go, where they are, um, how the manpower is set up and those that support them from a shore structure. You can see an early slide, one slide from there. And on the crew side, uh, one of the more important parts of the uh, brief here is to understand you know, who's on board. Uh, who's in charge, how that all works, uh, how the individual departments and divisions work on board and what the individual folks do that are in those, uh, di those uh, divisions, uh, how those sailors um, support the ships uh, as they're driven and do their missions. Um, we'll talk a lot about training and qualification. This is a, uh, a note here from uh, the uh, dolphin qualifications and we'll talk a lot about where that comes from and uh, how some of these uh, words are, are developed in that area. Uh, design fundamentals uh, will be uh, as we move into day two. The uh, this is again at an unclassified level, but there's a lot of material out in uh, in in, uh, in Navy approved documentation for us to to be able to talk our way through. So an example here are some of those materials. We'll talk about uh, hey, how do you determine how 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 thick the inner hull of a submarine has to be, and why there are two hulls, uh, various things like that. Um, we'll we'll go through a lot of that from basic uh, engineering, uh, ship design. Uh, why submarines are a little different than surface ships in the way they are uh, weighted and driven and, and, and ballasted. Uh, and a lot, of, a lot of topics like that we'll cover here. And then we'll, and as we start to bring things into the missions, we'll talk a lot about uh, where and how we, how do we build a submarine force, right? We have a certain number of each kind of submarines. So where do those numbers come from and how do we align them up? Uh, we'll, we'll talk a lot about these things. I'll, I'll call sand charts, where you can see uh, this case of uh, various types of uh, uh, attack submarines on the screen here. But uh, there's always a basis for where all these come from, and I'll, I'll talk about uh, where do we get those numbers and how we decide on on what how many submarines we have, which is then heavily related to what submarines do. Same type of documents then talk about what submarines do on a day by day basis, uh, and so we'll go through uh, various uh, various missions to the level we can in an un unclassified course. Uh, we'll touch on most of the missions you see on the screen. And again, many of you will look at this and say, well, I don't know what any of those acronyms stand for. Well, at the end of the course, you'll be able to understand what each one of those are. So I won't go into them here. You have to get, take the course to be able to kind of work your way through if you don't know them already. Um, we'll go through some details uh, where I can on how some of these missions get executed. 
In this case, a little quick drawing of a torpedo tube. And if you want to know how it works, take the class. We'll talk about it. Uh, so closing up, there's the agenda. Um, again, a reminder at the end, this is an unclassified course. Links will be provided for you to uh, follow up on the material. And uh, I'm glad to be able to uh, put together this uh, short intro.